Hi guys, it's Ange from Mummy Ads 2. Today we have a Shein formal dress slash prom dress or wedding guest dresses haul. If you enjoy this video guys, I'd really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and perhaps subscribe and maybe comment. It does really help out the channel. Now it seems how we are quite a new channel. It gets our views up a little bit and gets the channel out there a little bit more. So today we're doing a Shein formal dress haul. I have six dresses. I have a wedding next month so it is semi-formal. I needed to find something that was a little bit more suitable to wear. I have been between sizes after having little Evie 10, 10 months ago. So I needed something to make me feel a little bit, bit decent. So, I pretty much have had one night away from Miss Evie, and that was a wedding way back when. So, I'm super excited. I'm really looking forward to this night out. Evie and Araya, they're going to their aunties. They're going to spend the night there. So, I get to go up to the coast, stay in a hotel for the night, and just dance my little butt off. So let's have a look at some of these dresses that we purchased and I would really appreciate your opinions on which one I should wear. Remembering that the theme is semi-formal so you, you know, you've passed that cocktail dress not so much on let's go dramatic formal and in that middle, middle section there. I will have a try on portion as well with the prices so just take a look or you can fast forward through if you don't want to watch this part. So the first dress that I purchased is called the Ever Pretty Butterfly Sleeve Contrast Sequence Dress in Large. And it cost me $50.14. Originally it was priced at $62.95. So this comes in a bit of a sky blue. Uh, I wouldn't even say sky blue, I would say it's more... It's one of those colours that are between that sky blue and ocean blue. It's the dress, it has the butterfly sleeves. It is all sequined at the front there. And the top part looks like this. When I first opened this, because I have only had a look at them, I haven't tried them on. When I first opened this, I thought, oh, this may make me look a little bit too old. The sequins come down to the bottom. It's all the mesh and the inlay. It feels beautiful. It doesn't feel like it's going to be itchy or scratchy, even with that embroidery. So let me bring up the embroidery for you to have a proper look at. So the embroidery in the sequins of the leaves on the dress. It does have the inner lining in that blue color. The mesh is that blue as well. So you're not having any contrast between the dress, which makes it more cohesive. It does have the zip down the back which seems to be quite easy to zip up and down. There doesn't seem to be any pulls or threads missing. The zip does up nicely and it, it looks like it is really, really nice quality. So our second dress is a surplus neck split thigh zipper back maxi prom dress in size medium and I paid $30.24. Remembering this is all in Australian dollars guys. So if you're over in the States and that, these would actually be cheaper for you. Originally, it was $37.94. So it's a black dress. The bodice looks like this. It's that crisscross style with nice, thick sleeves to make everything feel like it's staying in place. Sometimes we need things to stay in place, particularly if we want to dance and things ain't staying where they need to be these days. So I need that little bit of additional coverage or a little bit of additional help. It then has the split which comes right up here. So I'm going to think that it does come across and comes down to here. But I'm going to think that maybe if I decide to wear this one, I'm probably going to have to wear a pair of little black biker shorts or something underneath just for a little bit of modesty. It is long once again. And the material is super stretchy. Very nice. Bring this up like this so you can see how that middle falls with a little bit of ruching there, or draping, I should say. So that drape is really, really cute. Then you have the zip on the back, which zips down. And it actually has padding in the boob area with this one. 
So that is really, really cute. So our third dress is from Love and Lemonade Zip Back Scarf Print Tube Problem Dress, and it's size large. I paid $43.79, and it was originally $54.95. This, this is a gorgeous dress. It is sleeveless, so the top looks like this. I think it's actually going to be a little bit too big. So the top comes like this. It does have padding where the boobs go. The print is amazing. So you have the leopard print, you have you have that more scarf print as well. It is more it is more maxi dress and it flares out at the bottom. It drops down quite nicely from the waist. And as you can see, it is quite long. It does once again have the zip at the back here and the tag, Love and Lemonade. This looks like a gorgeous dress and you can see the, the pleats at the front here just to let it drape quite nicely. This is a contender for me. This is really pretty. If it fits, it could possibly be my number one choice. So our next dress, I don't know. I don't think this is really semi-formal. I think it's more cocktail, to be honest. It's called the Double Crazy One Shoulder Mesh Body Con Dress, and it's in size large. I paid $20.68 for it, and it originally was $25.94. So it has the soft, like this is really, really soft mesh, and you can see the pattern that's on there. It does have the um, nude colored insert. You've got the one sleeve there, and all the ruching along the dress. This is more down to maybe mid calf, below the knee, mid calf length, I would say. It is a gorgeous dress. Let me know if you think that this, once I've tried it on, is passable for a semi formal event and if you actually like it. It feels beautiful, it feels soft, it's quite nicely made, to be honest. The mesh is attached to that underlay so you can see here that it is all sewn in so you're not going to have any issues with that nude underlay falling out or dropping down where it sh does where it doesn't belong okay so our fifth dress this one is the Pathia tie shoulder fishtail hem floral print prom dress in size large and it cost me $19.09 and it was originally $23.94 the pattern on this is beautiful. Now this is a sky blue dress and the material, I want to say that it, it is quite shiny, but it's not satin. There's plenty of stretch in this material. You can see the pattern. It is really, really cute. It's that pale blue sky color with all the little pastel pink and yellow peachy colored flowers. The top bodice looks like this and it has the stripes that tie up over the shoulder it does go all the way down this one is probably more uh, fitted and it does have that little fishtail down the bottom it also does have the zip at the back so more manageable to get in and out of this one once again there doesn't really seem to be any loose threads or anything any tears rips or stains on this dress and I think it's going to look really really nice on. And finally what is a prom dress or formal dress haul without a red dress? This one is called the Sheen Fold Over Off Shoulder Split Thigh Dress and it cost me $19.09 and it was also it also retailed for $23.94. This dress is a beautiful shade of red. It's, it's a hot tamale red dress. Sits like this. So these parts go over the shoulder here, and that's the top, the drop of the waist. This one as well has a split to the side and fans out a little bit at the bottom. It also does have, so let's have a look at the, we'll have a look at the back of this dress because it's also really, really pretty. It sits quite nicely as well with those sleeves. So the back of the dress sits just fix that sleeve up sits so like that and it has the zip down the back as well which is here okay so we're gonna go try all these on okay guys so this is the first dress 
and as you can see I think it's a little bit big around here could be a little bit more formally or fitted a little bit better but it is quite beautiful I'll come up close so you can see so the sequins I do have my bra on so it would be a little bit of cleavage there the sleeves are beautiful not itchy at all this is not actually irritating me someone with sensitive skin it may do but for myself not at all the back up close and then if I walk back it comes down to floor length So what do you think guys does this look too maternal is it cute is this a yes to wear to the wedding or a no let's take a look at the next dress this is actually a little bit sweet okay guys so this is the second dress as I said it does have padding but now that I've got it on the padding is right up here and my boobs are here so I don't know if I wore a different kind of bra, whether that would bring these girls up a little bit and sit them where they need to, or I can just take that padding out. But it is a gorgeous dress. You can see it does flare out a little bit at the bottom. It does have this big split though, which can be a little bit risque. As I said, you would need to be wearing a little pair of shorts or something underneath this for me anyway not everyone would but for me to feel a little bit more confident and comfortable in it I think that I would definitely need that it fits lovely it feels extremely comfortable it hugs all my curves and there's still plenty of room to move in in reality and it's definitely not a no for the wedding but I would definitely need something under here this is a little bit how are we going I'm not I'm not wanting to show that much we do not need an incident where boop, everything's out to play so guys what do you think of this one let me know down below and we'll move on to the next one be back in a minute Okay, so this is the third one. I've just tucked my bra strap into here. It is a little bit big. This one I should have went down to a size medium. It is the dress that I think is more cocktail dinner. It is beautiful though. It is lovely. It, if I was going to wear this one, I would have to size down. I'd have to send this one back and size down, but it is a stunning dress as you can see. It's not itchy this mesh is extremely soft I could always pin this in here and maybe get some booby tape and make sure that this is staying where it needs to stay if worse came to worse you definitely need a strapless bra with this one it does look very nice on the body if I come back here so you can see the length so it comes just down midway to my calf very comfortable What do you reckon guys, should I send this one back and get a smaller size or try and maneuver it? Or do you think this dress is probably more cocktail going out to the club or dinner? Let me know. Okay guys, so this dress is beyond stunning. It is gorgeous. You see how it sort of flares out a little bit down the bottom, it drops down nicely gives you a little bit of depth however it is 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 a little too big for me here and if I was going to wear this no word of a doubt this is going down we are going to have a party with the girls out we do not need that nobody needs to see that so 
I can, I did have a look online to see if they had the medium because I brought a large. Still trying to get used to my new sizes, which sucks for me. No mediums. So if I want to wear this dress, I would have to work something out with this. More baby tape, making sure that it was not going to move out of place, but it is gorgeous. It is a gorgeous dress. Whoop! As I said, we don't want them coming out to play. Let me know if you like this dress down below and whether you think that I should wear this and just try to sort it out for the week. If you have any suggestions, comment down below. Let me know because I would really like to wear this dress. I'll be back. Okay, guys, this one is stunning. It just skims over the body, but it does show absolutely everything that you own. Everything's out on display. Super pretty though. I think this one might be a little too much for the wedding though. However, I do think I'm going to keep this one. So you can see how it kicks out at the bottom there a little bit. Whoop. Skims right down to my cast and then just that, that light little fishtail down the bottom. It's obviously not tied up properly and I'm not wearing the correct underwear, but it's a try on. What do you think guys? I don't think this is for the wedding, but should I keep it? Okay guys, our final dress. This is another dress that is really, really comfortable. It sits nicely. A nice chain, a nice necklace here would really set this off. Does have pretty mean split too, but not as dramatic as that black one, I don't think, which was right in the center. Does flare out just a slight little bit at the bottom, but it does hit the ankles as well. See my dilemma. There's not one of these dresses that aren't beautiful. For Shein dresses, they're all gorgeous. And for the price of them, I just can't get over them. I was supposed to send some of these back. What am I sending back? They're too beautiful. How am I deciding which dresses I'm sending back? And how am I deciding which one I'm keeping? I need your help. Guys, if you like this video, please comment down below. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It really does help our channel and there'll be plenty more videos like this to come. Let me know which dress you like the best and which one you think I should be wearing to the wedding. Much love, guys. Bye.